Hey there, it's just me, Rodi, coming to you with another weekly weigh-in and a Weight Watchers, my interpretation of the Weight Watchers meeting that we had this week. Uh, I do not work for Weight Watchers, never have been employed by them. I am a paying customer and I am at the moment working toward uh, making lifetime. I do attend in studio, in studio and Zoom meetings. So moving on, this month we're celebrating Actually, this is week four of the month-long celebration of our journeys. So what, let me first give you my weigh-in because some people just want to know about that. I have officially gained four pounds for many different reasons, most of which is because I eat wrong and um, not, more than, not so much eating overeating, but just eating wrong. That's all it takes for me. It does not take much for me to put four pounds on. Is it water and inflammation yeah some of it is a couple pounds more than that probably isn't but um i'm okay with that it is what it is so um i am celebrating my journey by telling myself that this is life this has nothing to do with the meaning we are going to go up a few pounds and then we're going to go down a few pounds okay this is part of maintenance whether weight watchers wants me to only go up two pounds in order for me not to have to pay that's their thing because guess what two pounds is not a lot two pounds is a meal so if you go in and weigh in and you're over two pounds you have to pay so they make money from that is it great to gain four pounds no but again this is a lifestyle i don't care what plan you're on unless you're on an extreme uh plan that excludes certain food groups like if you're vegan um vegetarian or doing keto part of Melina in the background I apologize there's nothing I can do about this Melina she's playing anyway the bottom line of it is that we're going to have weight fluctuations for many reasons hormones for we went to a party this week we ate a lot we ate badly this week and badly not in terms of that we're bad but in terms of we went off of our healthier way of eating and this is what happens. So now what do we do? We don't panic. We just move forward, put it behind us and we go forward. So that's what I plan to do. Moving on to the topic, the technique as they call it in Weight Watchers. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what they call it. So how to move more and actually enjoy it. Now there are going to be some people that are going to say, I don't want to move at all. I lose weight. I don't have to move. So why are we talking about this? Well, for me, it is quite the opposite. I have to do 12 to 14,000 plus steps a day on an average in order to maintain weight loss, which is another reason why I put four pounds because I have not been doing that. Um, but the idea is that the school of thought is, I guess, that if you move, it's good for you. And I can't disagree with that. So in keeping that trend of thought, um, the first thing they suggest is that we think about how we want to feel during and after whatever kind of movement we choose or whatever movement would be sustainable for us, I guess. That makes sense to me. It sounds great and everything if you're going to decide to do something, but then if you're not going to sustain that, some people do better with a few different things. I do better with just steps, walking, inside, outside, with a video on. However, um, that's my go-to. But let's say that's not your go-to. Let's say you have no idea. You're just starting out brand new in this, in this um, health journey of yours. Or you've come to a point in your weight loss where you're on a plateau and maybe you need to consider, well, before I really didn't need to do the movement thing and now maybe I need to move things, literally shift things to continue losing and maybe I need to take another look-see at the movement thing, let's say. Um, okay, so how do you wanna feel? Do you wanna feel calm? Maybe Pilates might be a good idea, something to think about. Do you want to feel energized? Maybe walking or swimming or skiing. Do you want to feel strong? Strength training, kickboxing maybe? Suggestions, I don't see me at 62 doing kickboxing, but you know what? That doesn't mean other people at 62 can't or don't. 
do you want to feel happy? Well, personally, I'm happy when I do my steps and I do feel energized when I do my steps. I feel better when I do my steps. Um, dancing makes me very happy. I could just dance around the house. I don't necessarily have to go. That's why I like doing um, Get Fit with Rick because he uses the real music. When I mean the real music, he uses the actual music that you hear on the radio performed by the actual artist that sings the song and or the group. So that's why I personally, and you can pick any, any genre that you like with Get Fit with Rick. And he tells you, you don't have to keep up with him. You just do the best you can. So if anybody's interested in dancing and you want to do it more um, formalized, get, get fit with Rick. Um, I'll put the link in the uh, description box of this video for you. Also, Leslie Sansone. There's another woman. I forget her name. She's in Vancouver. I can list put three links for you if you want to check any of them out. Um, so is skating going to make me happier than swimming? But it's just examples. You want to feel, I guess to me, I want to feel, because if I dread it before I start it, I'm never going to do it. Or I may do it a couple times and that's the end of it. I'm definitely not going to be happy about it. So it should be something that we enjoy. Then the suggestion is to narrow down activities based on what else you know about yourself. For instance, who do you like to spend time with? Maybe when you're doing this activity, do you like to be by yourself? I'm very content just being by myself. I also infrequently, I'd like to do it more frequently, join with Dish with D. Um, she has a group called Glam Squad and it's through, um, Zoom and they play a video of uh, Leslie Sansone and for 20 minutes everybody you see everybody doing their exercising in Zoom play um, to the video of choice for that day and they meet regularly so that is one that I would I enjoy doing that in a group the rest of it I just basically do on my own but again you might do better in a group it's more social maybe sometimes when you have a commitment to a group you feel that it gets you out the door. Sometimes that's a good um, option if that works for you. Do you like to maybe just be with another person, buddy up with a partner? So that's something that goes part of the thought process and trying to figure out how to move and actually enjoy it. I have notes. Yes, I do. Pardon me, but I have to have notes or it will, I'll be sitting here jibber jabbering. Um, more than I already am. So, where do you want to be active? Are you a person that wants to be active at home? Do you want to be active at the gym? Outside? Do you want to be active in a pool? Um, some people do. I've seen it at All Sport where I live. They do um, steps in the pool, in the outdoor pool. And I think they also do it in the indoor pool. So, you could check out if you have a local gym. Uh, that maybe has a pool if they have classes where you could be with other people and you can do it in the pool as a suggestion. So the sentence that we have to fill in the blanks is this a, suggested is as follows. I want to feel, I want to feel energized. I'm adding in that. Um, that's my choice. So I will try walking and I'll ask my husband to join me and I look at my schedule and I know that I can make a commitment on this afternoon with him and say, come on, Jim, I want you to join me. I want you to buddy up with me. And I've got energy and I can make time in my schedule. So the schedule is made. We're getting out the door. So hypothetically speaking, if you'd like to fill in these blanks for yourself, this is going to be the final part of the process of getting you to move more. Everybody's got their own thought on that. I'm just sharing with you my experience with this week's technique and my interpretation of it. Um, then how does it relate to celebrating our journey? Well, supposedly if we are spending time prioritizing time to move more, we are, um, 
making an effort and prioritizing for ourselves is celebrating part of our journey in an effort um, the effort that you make is positive and will result in a continued positive journey toward health again this is my interpretation but honoring and celebrating that you're prioritizing some things for yourself to go in the direction of good health. I call it good health. I don't call it, um, I try not to use, I do say the word diet, but when it comes to my, um, what I tell myself, my journey has been about getting healthy and trying to stay that way. In the end of the day, that requires me to lose weight. So um, that's just my take on it. So the time that you spend trying to figure out how to move more is prioritizing yourself and giving yourself honor in the celebration of your journey. So that was it for this meeting. The end of the meeting always includes STAR, which is goal related to pick a goal for the week, which is specific, truly doable and relevant to your journey. Each week, I have something different. I'm gonna say the same one I said last time, probably, steps. And also I need to refocus myself on my eating, more than steps, more than anything, because all the exercise in the world does not take off the pounds. It starts with what goes in your mouth. If you're eating cake, speaking about myself, it's great that I still got my steps in, but the focus should be on stop eating the cake for me, not I need to get the steps in for this week. If I can do both, that's great, but I really need to refocus myself on my eating, and I know that. So on that note, I will thank you all very much for having watched my video. If you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it very much. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps my channel, apparently, with an algorithm on Facebook. And um, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will look forward to making another video for you soon.